Hello guys, welcome to another video and today we're going to go over the stats in Wildstar. You've got two sorts, you've got primary and secondary. Your primary stats will affect your secondary stats. So we're just going to go over a quick basic, I'm going to tell you what each thing does and I'm going to bring up a nice graph here so you can see what stats do what for each class because they are slightly different. So first thing you should know, if you hover over them then they will tell you what they do for that character. So I'm a medic, so for example, tech gives me my assault power and insight gives me some of my support power. Now assault and support power are probably the two main, main stats in the game because they will affect your action set builder. The action sets in the assault section are affected by the assault power and the action set in the support are affected by support power. First and foremost, that is the most important thing. If you're a healer with assault power, you are doing it wrong. Anyway, so you can see here, brutality gives me crit, strike, finesse, deflect rating, all that sorts of stuff. And the grid I brought up should show you what each thing does for each character. So we're going to go on now. You can see you've got your max health, max, spell, uh, max shield, assault power, support power, armor, that sort of thing down there. So that's kind of your main bread and butter, and these are what you're... You, weapons and armor are giving to you and then the really kind of fun stuff if you're a, if you're a, a numbers person comes in the secondary so you've got strike through chance which is basically hit chance what chance have you got to hit that character say for example that character has 10 percent deflect but i only have 0.98 percent strike through so that character has a 8.02% chance to deflect my attacks. That's exactly how it works. Critical hit chance, I have a 9.31% chance to critical hit. Critical hits are just hits where you do more damage, and the amount of damage is increased by a critical hit severity. So, I effectively have a 9.31% chance to do 162.51% damage. Armor pierce, it pierces armor, you know, by a percentage. Shield pierce, again, sh pierces shield. Your shield you can see here. And they are... The, the base is it will be... When you do an attack and the opponent has a shield, it will be 50% shield, 50% health. So if they've got 100 shield and 100 health and you do 100 damage, it will be... They will have 50 health left and 50 shield left. That's the, that's the base. That's without any armor or shield piercing. Uh, life steal does what it says on the tin. It will steal life depending on how much damage you do. Cooldown reduction will reduce the cooldowns um, by a percentage. So if I've got 15 second cooldown, so if I had 50% cooldown reduction, then it would only be a 7.5 second cooldown, for example. Uh, shield regenerate, that is how the percentage of your shield regening effectively. And the reboot time is how long it takes for you to be out of combat before your shield will reboot. Because once your shield is depleted, it will not keep regenerating whilst in combat. You have to stay outside of combat for a certain amount of time and that time is whatever your shield reboot time is. You've got your resistances. So I take 27% less damage from physical and technological and magic. And you can boost them. Um, tanks will boost them. Tanks will have them obviously much higher because they're getting hit a lot, so they need to take less damage. Deflect chance. Now, this is what I was talking about earlier with a strike through chance. So in PvP, I have 6% deflect chance, and PvE as well. But PvP, if we're looking at it this way, 6% deflect chance. So if someone walks up to me with 0.98% strike through, I have a 5.2% chance to deflect. Yeah, something like that. Anyway. Deflect critical hit chance is my chance to deflect crits, basically. So again, that negates the critical hit chance I have. CC resilience is all crowd control effects are applied to me, and I reduce the duration by 30%. So if you did a 10 second stun, I would only actually be stunned for 7 seconds. Focus regenerate regens my focus, which is this bar here. Uh, you can see it go down when I don't do anything because I'm out of combat, so it doesn't use it. Um, focus cost reduction will reduce the cost. So this one here will cost me two actuators, which are these resources here. And it will also cost me 37 focus. So if I had a 100% focus 
cost reduction, that would cost me nothing, obviously. If I had a 50% focus cost reduction, it would only cost me um, 15 plus half of seven, so like 18 and a half ish. So yeah, it, it basically does what it says on the tin. Yeah, PvP offense and PvP defense, again, one of them, PvP offense means you do 38% more damage, and PvP defense means, in this case, I do 42.78%, I take that less, that much less damage. So, these are really good stats for PvP, I believe the base rating is like 30% or something like that. Um, I've got quite a, quite a high amount, actually, because I've got, I've been PvPing, uh, and I've got them on my, my items. So... That's it. That's a really good, quick, brief look over the stats. I hope it didn't waffle on too much, and I do hope that's helped you. See you in the Nexus.